Today I'm going to be doing a quick review for you of this Amscope microscope, the model M150C-1. We're going to go ahead and see how to use it and I'm going to show you some images I took with my phone camera. They're not great but it shows you some of what you can see with this type of a microscope. Hopefully it'll help you decide if something like this particular microscope is good for you and your family or you and your kids. So with your Amscope, you're going to get this customer information sheet here. It has a download link with all the information you might be looking for for instructions, but we'll go through those. Right here are some separate microscope slides, and these are the lens covers. These are sold separately, but you can see the slide cover right here, and you can see the slide in case you want to do your own things that you want to look at, and I'm sure you will. Also, you can get these prepared slides separately in case you want to look at different things. We're going to be looking at some bees legs and a couple of other items that are on these prepared slides and I also took a slide with yogurt that I made myself. So here are the basics of how this microscope works. You've got your big knob here that brings your brings your lens closer and further away. These are your clips to hold your slides on and you've also got a light that has a switch right here and once the light is on you can adjust how light or dark it is. On the other side of the microscope here, you've got this knob here, which adjusts how much light comes through this part right here. And then you've got three different objective lenses here. This one is a four times magnification. This one is a 10 times magnification. And this one is a 40 times magnification. And then in your top here, this is a 10 times magnification. So it will magnify the four times to 40, the 10 times to 100, and the 40 times to 400. Then you've got this other lens, which is a 25 times magnifier. So it will magnify these objective lenses 25 times what they are. So up to a thousand times magnification. In the slides I'm going to show you here in a minute, I did use just the 10 times magnifier, so 400 magnification. That was the most powerful view that we used in the videos that I'm going to show you of the magnifications here. And instead of using batteries, you can also use this cord which plugs in right here. Just remove the batteries if you're going to do that. And the batteries go in on the bottom here. And you can break your slides if you go too close. So when you're using the 40 times objective magnifier, you don't want to go too close. But with something like the four times, you can go much closer. So this large black knob is for your larger changes in focus. And this gray knob is for your more fine changes in magnification. So if you're looking at something, you probably always want to start with the smallest magnification of four times and once you've put your slide on to where you can see that clearly then you can move up in the magnifications and do slight adjustments on the focus to see more clearly. It comes in this foam case here. You also get this cover which is just a dust cover and you can see your microscope lens at the top moves like this so you can look from different angles or have different people looking through it. And that's the basics of how to use it. So as I stated, using my phone camera to take those videos of the slides really doesn't do justice to how it looks when you actually are looking through the lens, but it gives you an idea of what you can see with this type of a microscope. Now let's go ahead and take a look at those slides. So this is a bee's leg at 40 times magnification. And like I said, taking a camera video through the microscope doesn't do it justice, but that is at 40 times magnification. And this next clip is a part of the bee's leg, which is at 100 times magnification. And then there's a final clip coming up here, which is going to be a 400 times magnification. And it's really hard to get focused in well on it. You kind of have to focus in and out on different parts of it at that high of a magnification. And it will go all the way up to a thousand magnification, but this one right here is just a 400 magnification. So this is some yogurt bacteria from some yogurt with live active cultures. And of course, I'm looking with my camera through the microscope lens. You can see it much clearer if you're just looking through the microscope lens. 
but I did think it's cool how you can see the bacteria moving around and I wanted to show you this. So I hope you liked my review of the Amscope Microscope M150C-1 model. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and share this video, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.